Lesson 63 in the 100 JS Violin Series. All right, last uh, uh, lesson I talked about recognizing diatonic chunks, chunks, strings of 5-1 sequences in chords. A little more advanced stuff. And um, I'd like to bring up the idea of chord substitutions. Now, one of the, another reason that the two chord is so important, the fourth most popular chord, is not just because it's five away from the five, but it also is so similar to the four chord. Let's go to our friendly key of C for a second. So, C chord, the two chord goes to five, goes to one, which we've covered. But the two chord is D, F, A. The four chord has, shares the F, A and a C. If you, if you do a D minor seven, it has the F chord in it. So it's very similar, very common. It just sounds, you could go four, five, one, which is a great way to go too, but two, five, one is a little more sophisticated. Let's try that again. Here's four, five, one. Very basic. Here's two, five, one. It has the same function, doesn't it? It still gets us to one. So in a sense, the two chord is a sophisticated substitution for the four chord because it shares so many common notes. Anytime a chord shares some common notes, you can feel free to goof around and rearrange it and do this for yourself. Um, you can, anytime you go up a third or down a third, you're gonna be kind of close. Um, so instead of the F, we could go up to A minor. So here's F, here's A minor. They share a couple notes, we go A minor, G. Still leads nicely to, to C, doesn't it? We can go four, five, one, or we can go two, five, one, or we can go six, five, one. They all sound slightly different, but there's, there's a common function that gets us to the one. So as an arranger, you might want to take a simple song and start substituting chords and see what pleases you, what you think, oh, that's cool, I like that. Oh, that makes that more sophisticated. Well, jazz is kind of sophisticated, and you can take simple songs that people might even know. Maybe you could rearrange Mary Had a Little Lamb and just change around the chords and see, start goofing with it, and you'll learn a whole lot about this. Um, so, and you can even get outside the key. You can go down a major third or, or, or a minor third either way. It's like instead of F, you could go down a major third and get to D flat. D flat, the... You can go pretty weird with these substitutions too. Or you could go up a minor third from F to A flat to G. It's taking it further, it's taking it outside the key, but instead of F, we went to A flat, which has some, instead of an A natural, has an A flat. You know, it's like, it's very close. Not, no cigar, but A flat to G two. Now the A flat's called the flatted six in the number system, but it's still, gets us to C, doesn't it? Similar thing. So when you go up a third or down a third, this is a major third or minor third with the chord, you can do some contorting that ends up being kind of cool in, in figuring out your own arrangements. And also seeing these things in songs that other composers do and recognize them as a solo. It's like, oh, we're just heading to C. So even though these other chords are doing this thing, I can just be thinking C and we're going to get to C and I'll release it. So that's another way to go.